order to set up the computer for a student to test, you need to log into the laptop as teacher. And then you are going to click on the new icon in the dock. And then you need to have the students put in the test session name and password. It's probably easiest to write it up on the board for them. For this one it is Gleason. Four, six, and then the student would click join. Then they have to click here to find their name, and then they click on their name. The test will be already here for them. Ask them to double check that to make sure if they're taking the math, they should look to make sure they have the math. If they're taking the reading, they could double check and click next. And then they have to check their information and then click yes. And then they have to wait for the proctor to confirm your information. So once a student's computer says please wait for the proctor to confirm your information, the teacher would go over the instructions with the class and then all the students that have signed in, it would tell you how many are to be confirmed. We just signed in one, so now it says to be confirmed. Once you click confirm now, then on their test, it will bring it to here and then they can start test. If you confirmed a student and you do not want them to be confirmed, you could click here on that student and then select action and do not confirm them, then that would take them off. This is also the menu that you would use to do anything else with a student that is selected. You could pause their test here if their name is selected like this one. You could resume their test. You could suspend it. Terminate, you never want to do that. Permanently deletes the test. Um, I guess there might be some cases, but that's really the one you want to stay away from. And then you can also test them again. I'm going to do not confirm and then you'll see that now she's just an awaiting student, no longer confirmed. The dreams of you were my escape, I'm falling.